In this section to the course, we're going to be talking about the different types or models of networks that we find in the world. These different models are based upon a key feature to the makeup of networks, that is how centralized or distributed they are. As this will define many properties to the network, such as how something will flow across it, which nodes have influence, or how quickly we can affect the entire network. Whereas in the last section to the course, we were really looking at the overall degree of connectivity to a network as a primary parameter. When we turned it up or down, it worked to integrate or disintegrate the entire network. The key parameter we will be exploring in this section is a network's degree of distribution. Degree distribution tries to capture the difference in the degree of connectivity between nodes in a graph. It is really asking the question, do all the nodes have roughly the same amount of connections, or do some have very many, whilst others have very few? The different network models we'll be talking about in this module will lie on this spectrum of degree distribution. Starting from systems with very homogeneous degree distributions, that is, all nodes having a relatively similar amount of connections, here we'll be talking about random networks and distributed systems where we have a relatively even topology to the network. But as we turn our degree distribution parameter up, we will start to see hubs appearing. These types of networks are described as decentralized, implying that unlike our distributed graph, where there was no real center, these have a number of central hubs to them. These decentralized networks have the small world property that we mentioned earlier making them very effective at connecting a large amount of elements within a short path length. Lastly, as we turn up our degree distribution parameter to make a very large disparity between the nodes different degrees of connectivity, we will start to get centralized networks with one or few dominant nodes and many nodes with a relatively low level of connectivity. This type of network is captured within a model called the scale-free or power law network that we'll be talking about in a later section. We might ask why we get these different networks with fundamentally different degree distributions. The answer to this should become apparent during the next few lectures. By starting with random networks, we will be able to see that most networks are in fact not random at all. Birds in an ecosystem don't just choose at random what other creatures they're going to prey on. Just as people don't randomly choose their friends, and transport authorities don't just randomly lay down highways between any two locations, these connections are of course made under specific rules that govern why and to which other nodes any node will make a connection. And it is out of the aggregate behavior of these nodes interacting that we get networks that have specific and widely encountered properties meaning we don't just live in a world of random networks, but in fact a world of networks that have a specific structure that is emerged out of these local rules. Lastly, just to emphasize that this degree distribution parameter may just be a quantitative parameter, but changing it can have a qualitative effect on the network we're dealing with. If you're inside one of these networks that we've listed above, things are very different depending on which one you're in. To illustrate this, we might take an example of a political network. Political social networks span from the highly centralized form of dictatorship, where all socio-political connections lead back to one dominant node, to at the other end of the extreme, some kind of egalitarianism, where responsibility and authority is distributed out in a pluralistic fashion. These different network structures will have a systemic effect and influence on almost all areas of the social and cultural fabric which demonstrates the significance of this degree distribution to a network that will be the topic of our coming set of lectures.